Whoa, 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 whoa! It's a psychic bear. I'm not sure if I can kill the bear or just grab this cart behind it. We should try and kill the bear, shouldn't we? Just gotta be careful, though. Ow! Ow! Ah, da, 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 da. Oh! To put me outside here. Uh, I'm not. Nils peeking into a hole in the girl's cabin. I'm hiding, and I thought, Oh, Nils, when will you peek into the hole in my heart? Because you just see yourself staring back. Uh huh. What? I mean, he'd see my new boyfriend James staring back, and he'd be furious at Nils. Who's Nils? Exactly. And anyway, there wouldn't even be a hole because James fills my heart till sometimes I think it's gonna explode. One time, I made someone's head explode. Well, okay, maybe there's still a little hole. Actually, it happened four times. But James and I have each other now, and Nils is just gonna have to deal with it. Now they make me. Oh. <clears throat> Welcome to the Whispering Rocket Underground Rapid Transit System. Would you like to go back to your private sanctuary now, Agent Kreller? Or somewhere else? Um, Kit's cab. Oh, that's nice. Drop me outside the main lodge. I'm headed for the parking lot. Let's go to Fort's. I mean, my sanctuary. Nowhere. nowhere? <laughs> I just like to come down here. I'd like to come down here to hear your voice. Pop in anytime, sir. So we'll do that in a moment. Are you listening to me, Dogen? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Not quite sure. That yep. oh. Dogen. Yep. So I want to try my luck of the bear again. Nah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Was that it? Dumb bear. Well, that was easy. But now Russian guy can't fight bear. Russian guy fight me. I beat bear. He beat me. I am great. Whatever. Nope. Still won't budge. Nope. Still won't budge. Aha! That is something for later. Lots of cards here. And other stuff. Oh, Akon! No! Looks like the golden Akon there. Nah. What if I come up behind it? It's not dumb, that's for sure. Hello! Ugh, fine. I didn't want it anyways. Yep. A crow feather. Is that one of the scavenger hunt, hunt things? Hold on, I saw something. I'm compelled to check this out. See up there. But we can't quite get maybe here and then... Sorry, nose was itching. There's a lot of um, really design, well-designed areas in this game here. Get, get, oh no! I could have gotten that. Well, okay, I'll just climb up over here. I think that's probably easier. Yep. 25 side carts already. And we got plenty of arrowheads now as well. Okay, so I'm thinking let's try and go in through the front door. More carts. Must collect. Carrots and arrowheads for shop. Hip. 
How can we get that? Uh oh. <laughs> they went into the Sims mode there. Oh, come on, I just did it. It doesn't help with my nose itching. But I'm gonna blame it anyways. There we go. So I think there's no more distractions for now. Except for in here. <laughs> He's crying. So let's uh, let's find out why he's crying. I don't even know where he is. Is he? Man, they're even up in the trees. Ah, oh, darn it. Well, I'm not sure where he is. The kid who's crying. Whose name I really don't know. It sounds like he's up here. Let's find out why he's crying, though. Oh, he's inside. Thanks. I thought I was going to have to eat my own arm. What is this thing? It's a GPC, a geodesic psycho-isolation chamber. Oh, man. Cool. Cool? Do you have any idea what this does? Something cool? Uh, no. It's a six-sensory deprivation tank. A hermetically sealed metaphysical hotbox. It's solitary confinement for psychics. Nasty. And the coach locked you inside it? Nah. The staff hasn't put any kids in the GPC since the 50s. Bobby threw me in here. Bully and dwarf accomplice should assault own size or larger only. Why even cooler? Perhaps notice gigantic bear with skin where hair should be? I didn't see anything in there. That's the whole point. Hmm. Just so. Empty now. Good luck, small ones. Hey, wait! I find bear. I help find bear. Where you go? He's gone, I guess. I'm just gonna grab this, and then I swear I'm gonna continue. Where would you like me to take you, Agent? Um, let's go to my secret let's sanctuary. Go to I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. Up, up, and away, or through, or that's where we needed to go, right? You finally made it. It's an honor to finally meet you in person, sir. I thought I recognized you in my dream, but I couldn't be sure. Now that I see you in your element, there's no doubt. You're Fort Cruller, the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales magazine. What are you doing here at Whispering Rock? This trading facility is built right smack on top of the largest Citadium deposit known to man. It runs under this whole valley and makes this a very critical area for the Psychonauts. So I'm here to look after it and to make sure you little spoonbenders don't kill each other. What's Citanium? Citanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic, but it can also make unstable people more unstable. Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive them completely out of their gourd. Gives this valley an interesting history. Hmm? I saw you raking leaves. Was that a disguise? Uh, yes. Well, well, I have many disguises. It, it helps me keep an eye on you kids wherever you go. <laughs> now, <clears throat> when I'm in disguise, I may pretend not to recognize you. 
Don't blow my cover, okay? Say no more. Your secret identity is safe with me. So, what mission are you on down here? Well, from here I can monitor world events, look for signs of psychic terrorism, ripples in the astral plane. And then fly out and save the day, right? You've got a jet hidden here somewhere, I'll bet. Well, you know, these days I'm really just more of a, a dispatcher. I spot the trouble and send out a, a, a younger agent, like Mia or Sasha. Or maybe you someday. What does all this equipment do? Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. Maybe later. And beneath us, I have special machines for rebuilding side challenge markers and detangling mental cobwebs. You should go familiarize yourself with those. They'll come in pretty handy for you. Okay. <clears throat> I better go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Thanks. I'll need it. Don't worry. I'll be right here with you. Inside your head. My head? Yep. I want to keep my eye on you, son, so I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. If you ever want to make me appear, you can do it with this special device. Is that a piece of bacon? Oh, yeah. I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. Do you have like a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. <laughs> okay, so there was a... This thing down here. Now, before you go electrocuting yourself, let me tell you how these babies work. Now, this beauty here is a mental cobweb detangler. Oh, I know what those are. Mental cobwebs are... You see, when an area of your psyche is neglected for too long, mental cobwebs form. Now, up in the camp store, they sell a very special device known as a mental cobweb duster. You can take a projection of it into the mental world with you and use it to extract any cobwebs you find. The duster stores the cobweb's psychic energy on the real world side. So, you can take what you collect back here, hook it up to the loom, and weave that tangled mess into something useful. Like, like what? a card from oh. a side challenge marker, which brings us to this fella over here. You put nine side cards into this guy, along with one side core, also sold in the company store for nominal fee, and it will <laughs> kick out a bona fide side challenge marker, which will earn you a promotion to a higher rank. Rank up enough, you'll earn new psychic abilities. You got it? Put my mental cobwebs in there, and my psych, and soon I'll be able to- Yep, basic. Okay, so we don't have any cobwebs, but we have to- It's a shame, because I want to get to ten. Wum, 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 wum. I'd made both. Excellent. So, yeah. Let's continue. That was nice. Wait. Hey, cart. Just gonna leave all these carts lying about? Maybe they do that for the kids to find them. Because it would be too easy just to get all the cards you need and then level up to like a hundred or a thousand or over nine thousand. Don't fall down, Keith. So, should we go in there? Just have a look. I think we shall. Okay, that was fun. Maybe we should ask the um, the forts uh, fort if he knows anything about the button. So let's do that. <coughs> Crow feather. Hey, Sasha gave me this button and told me to come see him for special training. And what? Sewing? <laughs> Okay, well, thanks for the help, mate. So how do we get out of here? Oh, maybe this. Where would you like me to take you? Um, parking lot. Judas. Oh, that. Bring me near the okay. geodesic psycho-isolation oh, chamber. Roger that, Ranger Crawler. 
Ben, 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 ben. I saw Nils peeking into a hole in the girl's cabin. I'm hiding. Okay, let's take the map because. Maybe it's just one of the uh, these domes. Psychic hand. One more level and we'll get a psychic ability. That'd be f great. Stop. Okay, so not that. So where? It is here. I have to do something here. Hello, bear. Are you going for me, bear? A Russian dude finally found you. Go inside. Hmm. Looks like one of the buttons is missing. Aha! Oi! Knock, knock. <laughs> 